Hey, what's going on everyone? Austin here. Welcome back to my channel, The Hellbird. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for new updates. Today I'm going to be talking about if you guys are doing a 3.8 to a 5.3 LS swap on your 98 through 02 F body. Uh, some things that you can reuse during your swap that's going to help you save some money. You guys can reuse the steering rack and pinion from the 3.8. Uh, from what I read, it's exactly the same as the LS. You can reuse the struts, they'll support the weight. As far as it goes for the V6K member, uh, the only difference between the V6 and the V8K member is the location of the mounts. Um, from what I read, you guys can buy adapter plates that your V8K member mounts will go on to. If you don't want to do that, you guys can go ahead and buy a V8K member for an LS. That's what I did. For the transmission, you guys can reuse the 4L60E transmission. You just have to buy the bell housing to hook up to the 5.3. You guys can reuse the torque converter from the V6, but if you're going to do that, you're going to need a spacer that looks like this. I think I paid about $22 for it on eBay, probably even less than that. Uh, the reason for that is, is the V6 torque converter will not reach the flex plate for the 5.3 because the 5.3 flex plate is ditched. So you'll need that to go on there. Now other than that, that's the reusable parts that you can use for the engine itself. You guys are going to have to buy all F-Body LS1 accessories to go onto the truck engine. Uh, you cannot reuse any truck engine parts. They're just too big uh, for this F-Body anyways. But they're too big and they're different locations so you have too much clearance issue. So you're going to need to buy a water pump alternator, power steering pump, some relocator brackets for your power steering pump and alternator, uh, an oil pan from an F-Body LS1, uh, and an oil pickup tube. Before you guys put that on the 5.3 or 6.0, you're going to need to trim the windage tray for the engine because your oil pickup tube will not clear. And then other than that, that's really pretty much it. If you guys are doing the build, I'd love to hear about it. Go ahead and comment down below. And until next time, I'll bring back some more updates. Alright, thanks for watching.